Jeff Demore here, Converter Accessory Corporation. Today I'll be speaking with you about one of CAC's more popular products. It's called a core adapter. It's, it's CAC's core lock, air shaft style core adapter. Um, today I'm going to be speaking with you about a, a three to six inch core adapter, but also keep in mind CAC makes core adapters for many different uh, core diameters. So for example, if you're running a Six inch, currently running a six inch air shaft, and you want to adapt to a, a 12 inch diameter core. CAC makes a core adapter for that. Today I'll be speaking with you about CAC's most common core adapter. It's, it goes from three to six inch. This is CAC's six inch air shaft style core adapter. Um, and I want to show you the internal construction. Um, I have a separate video uh, covering air shafts, and if you want to know more details about air shafts in general, I would recommend you uh, watch that video. It's on our website. But uh, inside of this six inch air shaft is the same as what's inside of this three inch air shaft. Um, I've loosened up the set screws in this end cap. The end cap comes off, and then on the outside of this air shaft are these interlocking segments. It's a leaf style air shaft, and what we do is we just slide one of these segments out, and then all of the segments come off very easily. And then this is the internal construction of the, uh, of the air shaft, whether it's six inch or three inch. So the air travels through this valve, through this copper extension, and into this hollow rubber tubing. Uh, the body of the air shaft can be manufactured. This one's uh, aluminum, and that's standard. But um, the body can be manufactured of steel or stainless steel if necessary. Um, there's a geometric shape that's uh, machined into the body of, of the uh, metal part. Again, in this, can, in this case, it's aluminum. And then we have this rubber tubing that is engineered to, to mate up with that shape. And that's spirally wrapped around the inside of the uh, air shaft. Um, the air tr you put an a, um, uh, inflating tool to this valve. Uh, pressurized air travels into the rubber tubing. On this end, we just simply have a plug. So these clamps, this clamp and this clamp, um, uh, clamp uh, stop the air from escaping from the plug and stop the air from escaping from this copper extension where the air comes in. But that's the simple construction of the inside of one of CAC's air shafts. As I said, this is CAC's six inch air shaft style core adapter. And um, what we've done is we've designed this to operate with, to core adapt from one of CAC's uh, three inch air shaft. But if you have an existing three inch air shaft, this core adapter will work with any three inch air shaft or any air shaft. Um, what we do is we take um, CAC's air shaft, three inch air shaft, and Inside of this six inch core adapter, you'll see there's a three inch diameter. It's bored out to fit the air shaft that's underneath it. And so we take the three inch air shaft and we simply slide that into the core adapter. And then we take that assembly. I want to show it to you coming out the other end. So now that core adapter is on top of the three inch air shaft. Now we do not inflate the three inch air shaft. The air shaft, the three inch air shaft simply operates as a support mechanism for the six inch core adapter, just like any through shaft. Instead, what we do is we tighten up a set screw, which closes this split bushing. So if you look here, there's a bushing that's sitting on top of the three inch air shaft. Now when I tighten up this set screw, you'll see that bushing close. And what that's doing is that's clamping. Now this six inch core adapter is clamped to the three inch air shaft underneath and that three inch air shaft is not energized in any way. We do the same thing on the other side. So again, I'm going to tighten up, if you didn't see it the first time, I'm going to tighten up the set screw, and you're going to see that split bushing close onto the 3-inch air shaft underneath. 
Now, <clears throat> the advantage to using the split bushing is that the um, that set screw never contacts the air shaft underneath. So there's there's no possible way that the air shaft, the three inch air shaft, will ever be damaged by clamping the six inch onto the three inch. So it's, it's very gentle, it provides a lot of torque, but it won't harm your existing three inch air shaft or our three inch air shaft in any way when we, when we make that clamp. Um, and the best thing really about using core adapters is it requires zero modification to your process and zero modification to your machine in order to be able to run larger size cores than what you're currently running. And I want to show you this air shaft, I want to show you how it works. Um, so what we do is we have an inflating tool and I want to show you the segments come out. So again, we do not, we do not energize the three inch. We're simply inflating the six inch, which is mounted to the three inch. So we take an inflating tool and you're going to see those segments, these leaves, these interlocking leaves, you're going to see them come out. So now that it's inflated with air, now those segments are all the way out. So they're all the way out and they're locked together. So if there's a core on top, it'll lock the core in place. Now to deflate that, you take any kind of tool, you can use a screwdriver, whatever. I use an Allen wrench, but you just push on that valve, and you hear the air come out, and you'll see those segments go back in. Now in the deflated position, that allows us to load a six inch core. So here's a six inch core. We load that onto the core adapter. And now, since I let it go, it's just going to go because the segments are engaged. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up, and I'm going to inflate those segments. And as you can see, that core, the segments are out, leads are out, and they're grabbing the inside of that six-inch core. What we're going to do is we're going to load this six-inch core into the machine. And we're going to close the safety chuck. And I'm going to, I'm just going to make a couple of wraps so you can see how it operates. Take our web. I put a little bit of sticky tape on there. And we start this up. And you can see that that's running. Now we um, say we let's say that's your full rewind roll. Shut that off. Cut the web. Open up the safety chucks. Pull the air shaft out. Deflate the air shaft. And then we can simply take the core adapter out. So that's how CAC's Air shaft style core adapter works. Now the reason I say air shaft style is we do make this in a chuck style and I will show that on a separate video but this gives you an idea of how CAC's core adapters work to allow you to run larger size cores on your machines with absolutely no modification to your machine or to your process. Thank you.